Name is Ezra One, a graffiti artist from uh, LA since 1995, and uh, now I guess uh, transformed into a street artist, you know what I'm saying? So I'm doing that now, you know what I mean? Doing murals, doing all that. I grew up half of my life in South Central, like right by the Coliseum. Witnessed the whole Rodney King riots, all that stuff, you know what I mean? And then I moved out here to the, the South Bay, stayed in Long Beach also. I, I definitely got a lot of influence out there, just uh, there was a lot of gang graffiti. Uh, just traveling the freeways, there was a lot of just graffiti that looked like chrome and, and just very intricate stuff. And I, I would always look at that stuff when I was like traveling the freeways. And I would always wonder as a kid, like, who does that? Like, how do you do that effect? Like, how do you make it look chrome? I was just asking these questions in my head. But luckily, like, my cousins, they were graffiti writers from uh, New Mexico, and they moved out here. And, and the cool part was they, they, they guided me to, like, what to, what to look for, how to do things. They sketched a few names for me and stuff like that. And then once they went back, you know, I, I used that, like, as my Bible, you know, and then I would, like, make my parents take me to like LA to Melrose or whatever and and back in the day before the internet it was like it was just like uh, Source magazine like Mass Appeal all these magazines they had like middle sections with pages just dedicated to like uh, graffiti but growing up in a Hispanic home it's either you go to work you have family you know you do the normal thing and when you're a creative person or, or you have that desire to be a creative person it's, you want to do more, you want to leave your stamp. When I was going to high school, everybody was like, oh damn, you're the best, you can do, the, you can draw whatever and this and that. And, and that kind of fed my ego, you know? I wasn't the most popular kid in school, you know what I mean? I, I, I just moved out here from LA. I just stuck to like me piecing, drawing, whatever. And then that, I made a few friends doing that, started break dancing and all that. So that kind of got me into the whole hip hop culture and the hip, you know, the four elements. Uh, DJing, uh, um, breaking, graffiti, and rapping. Just a desire to do more, you know? Like, I, we, would, we would ditch school and then go to LA, and just like, I'll be staring at the walls and seeing what, what these dudes, how they were doing it. All that, just, just life, the way it happened, it's, it was motivation. And then the better I got, the better I got, the more people were like feeding to, to what I was doing. And I think that's just human nature, you know what I mean? If you, want, if you want to jump, you want to jump higher. If you want to run, you want to run faster, you know? That same thing, you know what I mean? If, like I do big walls, I want to do bigger walls. I know I influence a lot of kids now, you know what I mean? Like, like I, I've, I've gotten comments like, oh, dude, you're OG, you're a legend, all this stuff. And I, don't, I don't see myself like that but I would like to be collected like artists, you know what I mean? Like, I, I want people to appreciate my work. Um, I want the value to go up. I forget what Bruce Lee said. He was like, he said something like, you know, uh, to live a life worth remembering, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be remembered for something, you know? Cause you can't just coast through life, you know, all the way, all the way to death, you know what I mean? So it's like, you gotta, you gotta have a meaning for something. I think everybody does, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, whether you're in the medical field or, or entertainment or whatever, you know, we, we, all, have, we all have a gift. Um, it's just finding that, that purpose, you know, and I feel this is my purpose and, and if I can be remembered for it, I'll, I'm, I'll be happy.